I am lost with everything in my life. This is going to be a long one. My girlfriend I call her my wife, we have been together for 7 years and I refer to her as my wife and she refers to me as my husband, and we have a child cheated on me. The first time was about a year ago. She has alcohol problems, and slept with a guy. It has hard for me but I moved past it and decided to stay with her. Two weeks ago she stayed out all night and I couldn't get a hold of her. I freaked the hell out, but she told me she was out with her friend and I put it slightly in the back of my mind. She did it again a week ago, except she called me at 3 in the morning to tell me it was all okay her story was off, and didn't make sense but I let it go. I started writing my wife an intervention letter for her drinking, as her story said she walked like 3 miles to her friend's house at 4 in the morning. I got to the part where I was writing down about the night, and decided to look at her timeline to see if she'd gone anywhere she doesn't remember. She called me from somewhere that wasn't her friend's house. She was there for 6 hours. I confronted her and she admitted to cheating on me, both last week and then. I went ballistic. After everything I still decided I wanted to work thing out. Get therapy. Get couples therapy. Now, this whole week I've been tracking her, making sure she's going where she says she is. I have been really trying to give her trust but I broke down today and went through her phone. I quit my job a month ago because my boss was treating me like acid. I found screenshots of texts between the two of them. She had been having an affair for two months, and they had s time four times. I now know why my boss was treating me like garbage. I don't know what to do here. Every fiber of my being says just leave, but I love her. She is. My person. I am so betrayed but I don't know how to go from here. But. She is my life. We have children together. I will lose everything. I just don't know what to do. This whole week she's been saying she wants to work things out, that she wants to try and move past it, that she doesn't want the party life forever. Where do I go from here? Edit update, thank you everyone for your words, be them good and bad I needed to hear them. I decided to set up a meeting with the owner of the company, outside of the workplace just me and him. I am going to tell him everything and show the evidence, and ask him to pull his phone records to verify because it was on his company phone. I don't know if anything will come of it and quite frankly I don't care, but he deserves to know who's working for him. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1, you're so codependent on her it's actually dangerous. Read leave a cheater, gain a life quickly and do what needs to be done. Contact an attorney for custody right now. Redditor follow up, this is the best answer. The codependency is off the charts, after the first betrayal, he should have started to distance himself and stand on his own two feet. At the very least, understood that her behavior could repeat itself, exactly as it did. To the op, the only way through this is on your own back. She can't take you where you need to go. She's an alcoholic, terrible partner and I suspect not a great mother as a result. The best future for you doesn't have her in it. It's time now to work out a pathway forward without her in your life. First step is a new job. Redditor 2, is your former boss married? If so, tell his wife. Redditor follow up, yes. I know people suggest this for good reasons, but I'm spiteful. I barely hinted at it to my mill and said, your son has something he needs to talk to you about that is causing huge issues in our marriage. It may or may not work out or something like that. People need to know, that way, your partner can't spin the narrative that the problems are your fault. Tell everyone. Evil villain laugh. Redditor 3, she betrayed you in the worst possible way two people who pledged their love each other are never supposed to do. That will always be the story between you both now. Can you live with that? Betrayal is black and white. There is absolutely no gray area. There is no narrative to spin, no alternative story to tell. She chose someone else over you when she promised she wouldn't, and that's simply the way it is. Op answer, how do you reconcile the two people in my brain I love her with everything. I have been faithful to her since the day we got together. I still want to cry on her shoulder. Story 2, caught GF in a lie. Need help. Well it's currently 4.30 AM and I got home at 3.20 AM from work to see my GF through the windows hurrying out of the living room holding her phone like she's talking to someone on video chat. Automatically my gut is screaming at me telling me something isn't right. 
I walk in and she's clearly drunk. Talking to some girl and she quickly ends the call and is asking me how my night was at work. I ask who she was talking to and she says Jermaine's wife. I ask oh so you still talk to Jermaine? She shakes her head while looking at the ground no. Not very much. I look on the kitchen counter and I see she has a corset there. And I pick it up and ask her about it. Why is this here? She replies, oh, I was just wearing it to help me fit into my jeans. Really? I just stare at her. She then excuses herself to the bathroom, wonder why and heads upstairs. I'm hearing laundry going. She's doing chores at 430 in the morning. Then she goes into my oldest son's room and passes out in his bed next to him. I view my house cameras. And of course, she's talking to some guy. My son wakes up and he tells me mom's been up all night she's been pretty loud and talking to someone on the phone. I asked if he knew who she was talking to and he replies a friend of hers from work. I'm bouncing between being mad and utterly crushed for my kids. We were together for 8 years and split up for 5 years and it hasn't even been 2 months since she's been living in my house again. My boys have been so happy living here with their mom. I'm so pissed off at her that she can be this selfish to blow up the family like this again. She's got to go. I'm not doing this again with her. I have all the evidence I need when she wakes up from her drunken blackout. I don't care if she slept with the guy or not. She lied. The trust is broken. And seeing how before she has cheated on me, I can't trust her again. There's no point. I told her she had one chance and not to duck it up. I'm laying in my bed typing this from my phone. My oldest son is next to me since his drunk mom took his bed. I locked my bedroom door so she can't come in. Reddit. What advice can you give me? What options do I have from here on to handle this? I have no idea how to update so I'm just going to edit this post. Sorry it's taken me so long to update and I'm sorry for my lack of replies. I have read every comment it's just been a crazy day. I'm going to answer some questions before updating. My boys are ages 7 and 9 her daughters are 1 and 3 I am 34 she is 32. Her daughter's dad let's call him D is a loser. And a hoarder. As soon as my soon to be ex left him he had his mom move in to help with bills and watching his kids when he has them. Let's call the soon to be ex H we dated for 8 years when I finally had enough I left H in 2017. I spent the next 5 years improving myself and healing. I spent years in therapy and got help with medication. Focused on my boys and my career. Made new friends got into new hobbies. A few months ago my boys told me that when D would aggravate it he would lock them outside whenever their mom H wasn't home. After finding this out I immediately contacted H and told her the situation. Long story short she left him and moved out. She had nowhere else to go so decided to move into the spare room at my house till she could save enough to get her own place. We all know how that worked out. So did the update. So after waking up 6am to get my boys ready for school and fed them breakfast, I took a look in to check on soon to be ex. She hasn't even moved from her original position I found her in. I can already tell how this morning is going to play out. After bringing the boys to school I contacted my best friend who happens to be my neighbor and told him what happened. He told me to pack up my range bag and we left to go shooting big hobby of mine is target shooting and we spent the morning at the range and talking. After that I decided I needed to head home and deal with the situation. After getting home I noticed on my camera she just woke up and she looked like she was having a rough one. I know for a fact she didn't sleep with anyone. But I do know she was video chatting with a guy and was changing her clothes in front of him. The point is she lied to me about who she was talking to and after everything that happened in our past relationship. If she can lie and get wasted on a Monday night when the kids have school in the morning, she can't be trusted. She was already working on building my trust and couldn't be honest with me. So boom. It's done. She has zero respect for me and just goes to show she has no remorse for the way she treated me in the past. I'm not a meal ticket and I'm not going to be someone's financial security. I sat in the kitchen and waited for her to come down. She came and looked at me and looked to the floor without saying anything. I then say after a few moments, me we need to have a talk about what happened last night and your behavior. H I know we do, I just want you to know I'm so sorry, I don't remember much of anything. Me that's convenient. 
I'm not here to argue about what happened and what didn't happen. The fact is you lied to me last night and that's all I need to know. The cameras exposed your lies and I have the videos here if you would like to see them to refresh your memory. H I'm sorry I'm so sorry my name. Me going forward. When you get home later you need to move your stuff into the spare bedroom. And you need to start saving money and looking for a new place to live. You have 30 days to get your crap together and move out. H O K I understand. I just really don't know what I lied about. I don't remember anything and I'm not trying to excuse my actions. I just want to talk and give you my side. Me, but you don't remember your side, right? H well, if you're going to put words in my mouth, never mind. Me do not turn this around on me. Remember it's not just me you let down. You let down not just the boys but your daughters today as well. You were supposed to pick them up from D's place. H I know I know. Me no I don't think you do know. You let everyone down with your selfish actions. You need to figure yourself out. Because I'm not doing this again with you. H O K but can we talk about this? I've been stressed out lately. I haven't had my medication in a week and I haven't talked to my therapist in over 4 months. I have an appointment with her today. I need to go to can we please talk about this after I pick up the girls and bring them to daycare? Me go. She leaves and I head upstairs to bed to take a nap. Waking up I make this update. Checking the camera she made at home came upstairs tried to come into my room but I love the door. Tried to knock but I'm asleep. She goes to the living room to take a nap where she currently is. I'll update more later when I can. Thank you everyone for your thoughts and advice. I am reading all of your comments. Redditor's reaction story 3 after. Redditor 1, make it as quick and clean as possible. Cover your bases. A blowout confrontation might feel good, but it's generally unhelpful to your interests. Do not conduct this in front of your kids. She will use them against you and make you the bad guy, but have an answer for them as to why things are happening and have failed. Don't leave a non-explanation where they are left to filling the blanks blaming themselves. Protect yourself. Make sure there's video or at least audio running assuming your one party consent of every interaction you have with her for your safety against false claims. Redditor 2, the fact that she cheated on you in the past and is doing it again is enough to make a drastic decision. But the fact that she keeps your son awake by talking too loudly all night on the phone in his bedroom is unforgivable. And in addition, she steals his room. Protect your son as well as yourself. She's toxic to both of you. Redditor 3, time to end it. Once a cheater always a cheater. It been married 27 years. I stayed with my STBXH after several affairs early in the marriage because I had 3 young kids and no help and place to go. Now, caught in the net again but can leave. After I told my daughter of his previous affairs, the kids never knew. She told me you should have left them. Our lives would have been much better. Kids adapt much faster when they are young. Get out of the marriage. It's for everyone's best interests. Clean cut. Story 3. I 34 meters am so lost after finding seamdoms in my 35F purse. One year later. Five year relationship. Hi all. I've been wanting to post here for months but I was honestly scared it would just be an emotional mess as that's probably what I am most of the time. One year 2 months ago, I found seamdoms in my partner's purse. She was dressing up, going out more, secretive on her phone, going to bed and shutting door. I had a hunch and checked her purse and found two seamdoms. She said they were planted there and that she had no idea how they got there. After some moments she said she didn't go through with it. After a few fake stories, I believe the real one came out and she said she was on Ashley Madison, found a guy. They went to a motel room but just sat on the couch for an hour therefore never cheated. She's maintained this for an entire year and makes me feel extremely bad if I doubt this. We decided to go through with an open relationship for some reason and it was 4 months of hell. She would keep hooking up with guys after I said stop. She eventually said we can close it around July 2021. It's 7 months later and L I do is think that she is cheating on me, especially if she displays similar behavior. If I ask her, she will start calling me paranoid or say that I need to trust her. I've mentioned we need to get help, but she shrugs that off and says she won't talk to the therapist or she will crack it if he accuses her of anything. I don't know why she gets so angry at me when I'm hurting over this. 
I'm trying to talk about how we can communicate better but she says that she's apologized once and that's all that's needed. I feel like I don't know how a relationship is meant to feel anymore, am I asking for too much support? And why can't we talk about these issues to reconcile? She said to me last night that she doesn't want me to ask her questions more than three times else she will get frustrated. That's not right isn't it? Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, her response to you finding out that she is cheating on you yes, signing up on AM and meeting with her lover at the motel is cheating, no matter if they had s time or played cards is to tell you that she wants to open the relationship. Her response to you telling her to close the relationship is to keep on hooking up with guys. This woman doesn't care about you or how you feel. So if I were in your shoes, then I would ask myself why I allow anyone to treat me like that and why I am still with that person? What do you get out of this marriage? Why are you still with her if you leave your love for her out? She made it pretty clear that she isn't interested in a monogamous marriage and that she will have fun with other guys either with you knowing it or behind your back. She doesn't respect you one bit and she doesn't care if you trust her or not. You need to respect yourself first and make a decision about how you want to be treated. Please get tested for STDs. Redditor follow up. Yes and she doesn't care if you trust her or not. That's a big, the resentment that comes with that is mental torment and she could care less so how can she love you? Redditor too, she's an inherently dishonest person. She's manipulating and abusing you. Stop believing what she tells you and start believing her actions. Redditor 3, she was on Ashley Madison, found a guy. They went to a motel room but just sat on the couch for an hour therefore never cheated. That happens a lot. They go to the hotel, pay, and just talk. I know it sounds incredible, but if you read here, so many people post that kind of stuff. It must be true. So many people can't be wrong. I wonder if there really is some kind of cheater's manual written down somewhere where the cheaters get this stuff from. Redditor follow up, ha ha. My husband said this exact same thing about the H ochre he paid. Sat on the bed, all clothes remained on, but nothing happened. I couldn't go through with it. Redditor 4, get away from this person. You may love her but she is totally indifferent to you. She has no respect for you. You asked for honesty and she fed you blatant lies. She sees how her cheating is hurting you and she doesn't care. She isn't relationship material. She's behaving as what she is. And that's pump and dump material. Staying with her will only harm you mentally and emotionally. You need to get away for your own mental health. More time with her will only bring you more pain. This woman is mentally abusing you for her own enjoyment. Redditor follow up, and this is exactly why you should let her go and move on, it will never work. For me or anyone else. At this point emo it's more time wasted and more energy wasted on someone who just totally doesn't give af. Heartache for no reason. She deserves to be with someone more like herself and only then will she ever see the damage she created. Redditor 5, sorry to say but this is a you problem, not a relationship problem. She has shown you clearly who she is, what she is capable of. But you are the one who doesn't want to see the obvious and getting walked on all over. All I can say is, if you don't respect yourself, no one will. Take care, Redditor 6, my questions are, why are you staying? If it is for the what if good relationship happen then forget it. Don't you see her true face? I mean if someone makes a bad choices and act in order to correct her wrongdoings then good but if someone says and act a certain way for years then you can't find any arguments to justify that it's not the real her. Are you happy? Because obviously not but. Do you want to be happy? Do you really think in your heart that you can be happy with this person? Mate go see a therapist and lawyer now, wake up. You only got one life and you're wasting it on someone who doesn't care, love or even respect you. How do you think you will feel on your deathbed knowing you wastes all those effort, emotions, time on someone like her when you could have left, work on your happiness, found someone better etc. Don't dream about the life you want, built a life you would be proud of.